today this box showed up it's our new toy for the workshop we're gonna unpack that now it's pretty cold in here don't know if that's visible uh, about eight degrees just had a heater on so see what's in the box and that's what it is it's a sun blasting cabinet obviously made in China but some new stuff so some nuts and bolts flying around So we're gonna unpack that and uh, fill it up with some glass grid and see what it does. Well, that's not too bad for the money. It comes with a blasting gun, some spare nozzles, even some Teflon tape is supplied here. That's obviously the sucker here. Um, and it's got a connector we're going to fit. There's a little bit of assembly required that needs to go into that hole here. But it looks pretty neat actually. It's got a low voltage light with the power supply here. We need to figure out what that is an air filter inside it even comes with five or six of these spare screens here so we're gonna assemble it and see what it does do not operate above 100 psi and it clearly comes from China I can't pronounce that it comes with a big sheet of paper, CE, Declaration of Conformity. I need to apply. It complies to any standard you want. Um, <laughs> okay. But for the money, I would say the first impression is very good. It was about 50 quid, and uh, you're not gonna make it for that money. Obviously, the The man with the van wasn't very gentle to it, so it's a bit bent, but I can live with that. And uh, so we're gonna get it together and do some blasting. So we got it together, that's how it looks like. The light is adequate I would say apparently the description is slightly different it even comes with a roll of uh, Teflon tape but it doesn't come with a quick fitting for the air supply so I had one in stock so that's, that's okay so let's put some grit in and see what it does stuff is recycled glass it comes in 25 kilo packs here 50 pounds and uh, as mentioned before it's a bit more gentle to the surface so you can blast aluminium and uh, just soft metals and other things uh, it, it needs a bit longer on on steel but um, I'm quite happy with the results so. so I hope that's fairly visible Good. Need to turn that heater off. The heater is too noisy here. I'm using glass grid. It's one millimeter glass glass grid, and uh, I'll give it a try. It's just a it's just a Morse taper adapter which I got from the. Uh, flea market 
see how it looks like. That's not too bad actually. These gloves are really stiff here. And it takes quite a bit of air. Yeah, I think I need to switch on the bigger compressor. It runs out of juice here. So, but uh, it's getting dusty now. Uh, these gloves are so stiff here. And it's leaking dust here a little bit. Definitely need more air. I think it, that's enough to show it for, for now. So let's take that out. Yeah, it's leaking this here. And uh, here a little bit. So I think I need to look after the gaskets here. But, oh, that's pretty, pretty dusty as well. Came out quite nice actually. It's not finished, but uh, it looks pretty clean actually. Uh, I'm happy with that. It, with a bit more air pressure and obviously dry air, because at the moment this is not dry air, uh, it's okay. So, for the money, I would say, sorry about the compressor, for the money, I would say it's okay, even if it's from China. And you certainly can't make that for that money. No, no way. Absolutely not. So we're going to find a place for it because this is just temporary. The light comes handy as well because that's 12 volt lighting. I got 12 volt and 24 volt here in the shop. So great. What I probably do is I make an adapter for the shop back. I think that's possible to get the dust out because it's now five minutes later and it's still pretty dusty inside so that's most probably a good idea just to get rid of the dust here the filter is the air goes out the filter is quite dirty actually so yeah there is always room for improvement But it's okay for the money. So that's the sun plastic cabinet. Here you got a few flea market finds and some mystery tools. I don't know what that is. Just looked nice. Looks like a collet holder, but it doesn't fit the ER32. Notice the nut. Fit. This comes out. No idea what that might be. Just 
just looked nice. Next one is this one. No maker on it. Don't know what it is. Got a nice clips, number 17, automatic center punch. Works fine. Some radius gauges. Says slip in number four, I believe. No maker. Look nice. Got some punches and dice. Cute little dice. Thank you.